Okay, so now we're going to do the uh, final portion of setting up Sickbeard. Remember my last vlog? We uh, finished installing it onto the uh, Open Media Vault server and uh, got it to run on startup. Uh, one thing, one caveat I had noticed on the startup with that miniature small startup script that I had set up, uh, it does seem to have problems when you try to change anything. Um, seems to kind of throw up a little bit. Once everything is up and running, it doesn't have any problems. Um, then all you need to do is just go in there and type shutdown. Uh, just at the end here, just type uh, you know shutdown, hit enter, without the caps lock, and um, hit enter, and it'll go ahead and shut down. And then you can make any changes you want. Uh, if you don't, you'll probably have to restart your OMB so that um, you, you know, it'll go ahead and start back up and start running. So uh, right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, do the configurations, uh, which are pretty simple. It's a small list of steps, uh, but I'll go through them slowly so we can make sure we get everything. Pretty much I'll be copying everything off of my uh, sick gear that I have on my Windows PC, and the settings will be the same. I'll show you some of the different websites that I use. Um, that I use for the uh, news group readers to be able to get some of the files and everything. Over here at, um, that's the Sickbeard site. Um, it's just simply sickbeard.com. And some of the installation instructions are here. Uh, if you need to go over any of them, obviously I didn't even use a lot of any of these. Uh, the configuration, uh, they kept it real simple and basic. Uh, you can dig in a little bit further through the wiki and their, especially the forums. Um, I highly recommend getting a Sickbeard account um, and going through those forums have a lot of very valuable information in there. So let's, uh, let's get right to it. Uh, as you can see here, we've got the uh, Sickbeard site where we left off running on my uh, OMV server and it's pretty much bare bones. There's nothing in it right now. So let's just go straight into the, the configuration. So right down to general. There's not going to be a lot that we need to change here. Um, really the only thing is, let me take a look here, um, is there's going to be a username and password for logging into the web interface. Uh, so let's go ahead and Throw that out. Obviously, don't want to be All right, I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. Now that those are saved. We'll go straight up to the next one of search settings. And this one takes a little bit more configuration, especially once we get into the search providers. Um, here, you're just going to uh, set up what's called the, the black hole, or where the directory where Sickbeer is going to store those um, those NZB files. Um, I had already set up a. Uh, now this is your directory inside of uh, OMB. Now, since I have a lot of it running already, um, I have FTP share folders, and that is where I'm going to be saving information to. Uh, and that is under the home directory and FTP. And you'll see these are all my share folders. Uh, under my TV, yes, you'll see a bunch of, uh, this is all coming off of the ones I have already, but I made a folder called Sickbeard, and that is where I want the NZB file to go to. Now, there is a, an interesting caveat to that. Um, if, like, for instance, how I already saw all of those files are already there, uh, and you have this sick beer point to the same place that uh, you had your old one go to, it can actually um, recurve those files back in. It can, it'll ask you if you want to go ahead and bring in all of those movie or TV programs into there. And you click yes, and it'll start running in the background, load in all your shows, asking which ones are the right ones, and 
and set it up. It's actually fairly decent, but I want to do a nice fresh install, so I made a different folder for it. So going back to sick beer here, um, that's all we need to do on this one. We're going to go ahead and say setting there. All right, next step, search providers. These are the defaults that it comes down with. Um, I use some of them. Um, this one here, Secured Index, uh, one of my main ones. Um, now let's see, this Rumble Index, uh, you need to set up their site. Uh, just log in, and set it up, and give them your information, and you'll be able to access that. Uh, and then NZB Matrix is the main one that I use. Uh, and by the way, I, I'm reorder, I, reordering these just by clicking on it, left clicking, and just dragging it around. Um, so NZB Matrix is another one that I use. And then I have a custom one that I use, and I'll show you how I set that up. Uh, we'll go, come back to that. On the provider, the built in providers. Uh, so let's see, I have NZB Matrix, and let's see what my information on that is, alright, and this one you're going to put in the API key which, and over here at their site, ncbmatrix.com, um, you sign in and uh, when you sign up for an account, they will, uh, you'll be able to get an API key, uh, which is what pretty much authorizes you to download the, the uh, files. All right, and then, um, Let's see, our next one, let's see if I have anything else left here. No. All right, so our next one is going to be down here. We're adding new provider. If you sign up for um, different accounts that aren't already built in, for instance, back here, if you... Um, one of the sites that I use is called nzb.su. Uh, sign up for an account there. I believe they did have like a nominal uh, donation. Um, if I don't, it's either this or it was a news group here. But uh, it was like five dollars, whatever. Um, and then you have access to get your your, uh, your TV downloads. So once you get your information from here. You can go back in the sick beard. Just a second here. Sorry, I got to make sure I hide those uh, those API keys. I want to make sure that nobody gets those. Alrighty, so this one I'm simply just going to call NCP. And the site URL simply ngb.su. And go uh, tag in there, or hash mark. And then I will be adding the API key. Click the add button. Okay, and then if we go back up to this. All right, come back up here. You'll notice that NGP is now listed here. Okay, and since this is a main one that I use, I put it right up at the top there. That would be the search order. I'm to change the order a little bit. That's the search order, so you go through first. So you're more likely to hit ones, which Sickbeard is a very, very good one to get your uh, initial hits off of. Make sure that's your top one after that. The ones that you have registered are probably your more likely ones. Uh, this one I get hits every once in a while, it's a remote show, but 
this one here, um, I'd set it up because it's it's integrated, so I don't really worry about it. But this star here, uh, drilled over here, does not support backlog searches. Uh, so anything that does not come out right away, uh, it will give it to you. So most chances are you're not going to get hits off of that. Uh, work better off if you go to the site and pull, pull your information from there. And that should be it from there. Uh, now some post processing information. Um, I don't have a lot of different changes here except for some of the extensions. Um, you can change if you have a um, you can dictate how sick beer completes the shows, where it puts them at. Uh, I keep everything at default there. Um, you can also here XBMC. Um, you can uh, change your meta metadata information specific for certain uh, movie or uh, media browsers that you have. Uh, XBMC will be one of them that I will be installing. But down here, I do have some changes. You can customize this and how you uh, like to be able to see the information. I don't use the air by date. Uh, I use this uh, season episode format. And that's it. I'm going to save those changes. And that's pretty much going to be the end of it. I do want to show you something new real quick. Uh, notifications. As I mentioned before, um, I will be installing an XBMC media um, computer off of Raspberry Pi. Actually, I have one for the Apple TV. Um, I wanted to show how to install it. And so now it has all of these other things that when you enable them, uh, will send commands to those media uh, PCs so that to let them know, hey, I've got a new show, index it for me. Uh, and it has a ton of them. And it can even uh, Twitter you or you know, Twitter your account. Uh, it has just a ton of different uh, options here. And I'm not going to set any of that up right now. So for the most part, it should be set up, which means I did everything correctly. Back on the main screen. All right, we're going to go ahead and add a new show. We we'll had a real nice uh, popular show. Yeah, I got uh, it on that. All right, so now what it's going to do is going to go ahead and search out there to see the titles for Big Brother. And of course, the top one is a big hit. So we're going to hit next on that. Um, now, here's where you're going to put where those are going to go. I have those put same place that I have where I put the other one. So we're going to go to Home, FTP, TV, Sick Beard. Both in the same place. All right. Now, you can have multiple different folders for each one. What this will do, because of the way I have it, uh, I have it set up, is it will create a folder for those seasons and episodes uh, and separate the different shows out. And it'll do that within six years, so I don't have a problem with that. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and hit next. Uh, anything that you're missing, I, I use it skipped. Uh, SD is fine for me for just the TV shows. Hit add. <clears throat> now it'll show loading uh, as it starts gathering show information. It'll start populating it, but not until you refresh the screen. So I just click the home button. Notice now it starts showing. It's already showed 23 episodes uh, that are available. If you actually click on the show, you will see here it will start going back from season one and populating all the way forward. Um, so, which will take a considerable amount of time. All right, you can change the show information here. Um, and then you can even have some options here where you can change, you can go through, you can select certain ones, so change it to wanted. 
So the next time it finds it, it goes ahead and goes ahead and pulls it for you. Uh, but if you have this running all the time, it grabs the show pretty much immediately after the error. Uh, because if you click on this coming episode, it still hasn't updated the latest show yet. But what it does, it will um, it will have a banner here of what uh, what the next seven shows by day, so you can see what they are. Uh, let's see how much this is updated yet. Sorry, two hundred forty-seven, uh, but it's only at the oh six. It's gonna take a little bit. Um, you can go through your history. All right, I'll show you different shows. The history of one. Um, if your system is down for a while, you can do a mass update um, or overview, overview backlogs. Um, you already went through this. Logs and errors. Um, this is going to be pretty much empty. You shouldn't have had any errors. It only have errors as it has problems downloading shows. And I've had very, very few um, problems downloading shows with this. Uh, only a couple of some true bugs that I have problems with. Um, we're almost there, we're on the Brad Oni. Um, if you want to show you what it looks like when it pulls the show down, probably should have grabbed something that's been here uh, or an earlier screen. But we'll get there. Uh, I cannot think of anything else I have in this. Um, so we'll just wait until this finishes. When all the show is down. Okay, so we're already caught up. So this is the one that aired on the 9th. You hit this manual search. It'll start going through your search providers and querying them. Find out, hey, do you have this show? Uh, if not, move to the next one. Uh, which is why I said put your your higher one here, the more the ones you register for up front, and then the less likely to go down. It'll be a faster search for you. It still takes a while, um, but it actually has faster than I've had some of my other ones. So you can see right here, it's already snatched it, um, and it's put it in that folder. Now, the uh, news group, like uh, I use NCBZD to um, retrieve those NZBs and pull the show pull the show down and eventually I'll go through the setup on that. That's pretty much the entire setup and so now Sipirit is installed on Open Media Vault and can be running on its own.